So uh, now our team member, Mr. John Pinto, will uh, continue with the hands-on session. So John, over to you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so uh, what I will be doing is I will be uh, I'm pasting a link to our spoken tutorial. Okay, this is the tutorial that we will be doing. We will be creating a 2D channel geometry and meshing it using a block mesh utility. So uh, what we have observed is for some of uh, for some of us. When we are playing this uh, uh, this spoken tutorial, the video is not moving moving forward. Yes, we are only able to hear the audio. So the, in that case, what you can do is you can even go to our YouTube channel and uh, follow the same tutorial. Uh, sir, I uh, I was facing the same problem. Uh, if yes. we are using Mozilla Firefox, uh, it is working, but not in yes. Chrome. Yes, for, with, with Chrome, we are having some issues. So what I'll do is I'll also, uh, I've pasted the uh, spoken tutorial link. Just give me one, one minute. I'll paste the link for YouTube also. So I've pasted one more link. So first one is the link for our spoken tutorial. Over there, you will get some additional reading material and case file, whatever is needed. And the video you can watch from YouTube as well, if you are having such problem. Or if you switch to Mozilla, then also that is also fine. But if you are on Chrome and you are facing this issue, then uh, this can uh, this will be able to resolve it. Uh, okay, so uh, because what what we have observed now is that we have you know a range of candidates with us, right? Some are uh, some are using OpenFoam and some so they know all this command line interface and they are able to pick up very fast. So you can watch the uh, video. Go ahead and do that for those. Uh, you know, who are struggling and who are saying, you know, I'm not able to understand this command. What I'll be doing is I'll also be following that video, uh, the spoken tutorial, and I will also giving, uh, be, give, will be giving you some comments so that you can follow it with me slowly so that you understand and pick it up so that from the next video, you will be able to follow it yourself. So I'll try to share my screen and do that. Uh, for the ones who are pretty comfortable, you all can go ahead, watch those videos and, you know, uh, do that tutorial and understand that. Okay. So, uh, so we'll be following our 2D channel geometry. So as sir said, you know, some of you are struggling because, you know, the, this command line interface that whatever we are doing in the terminal, you know, the commands seem to be like, you know, very big, what we are doing, we do not understand. So we'll go from scratch. So first of all, I'll quickly tell you what, we, uh, where we have installed. So if you open your file browser, all of you, okay, file manager, file browser, whatever you want to call it. If you open it, you see on the left hand side over here, there is an Ubuntu uh, file structure, right? When you click on it, all your Ubuntu installation is in that. Now open form gets installed in this OPT folder. So you can open OPT. And in that, we have installed OpenFoam 9 and Paraview version 5.6. So I'm opening OpenFoam 9. Please, open form form accept the uh, please, please mute yourself. Yes. Okay. And in that, there are different, uh, what you can say, folders where different files are needed. Right now, what is important for us is the tutorials folders. Okay. If I open tutorials folder, these are basic tutorials which are ready ready made set of files you know for some basic simulation so that we know what is the case structure and how the simulation works now for this uh, 2d geometry what we will be doing is we will be copying a uh, tutorial case from incompressible tutorial so we have to go to after this please open the incompressible folder in that you have to go to the simple form folder yes uh, sir, in my laptop, uh, Ubuntu is not directly opening. I just have to uh, get. I just have to open the command prompt and after uh, give the command of WSL. No, uh, did you see from where I opened? Your file structure should be there for you in Linux. Yeah. Yes, sir, but it's, it is not showing in my laptop. Okay, so Viraj, can you see? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you share your screen with Viraj. He will handle that. Hello. Sir? I could open the Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu uh, like folder, but I couldn't see any uh, tutorial in there. Ubuntu folder you opened? Yeah. So I, I said after you open the Ubuntu folder, you have to go to OPT. No, sir, Are there is no. Yeah, 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 there is there. Yeah. Huh. So, uh, so please follow quickly. Yeah, yeah, sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so go to the OPT folder. 
After OPT, go to Open Form 9. And then go to Tutorials. Now, in this, there are many sets of tutorials. Now, for now, our geometry is similar to the channel 395 geometry. So, we are opening that. It is in incompressible. So, go to incompressible folder. In incompressible folder, there is pimple foam. We have to open pimple foam. Inside pimple foam, LES folder. And inside that channel 395. So if you see, if you see there are a lot of folders over here, right? Zero, constant system, all those things. I'm going back. So we have to copy this whole channel 365 folder and take it into our run directory. And this whole process that I showed you is done by just one command over there. That is CP minus R in the video. If you see CP minus R dollar form tutorials. But for people who are not understanding, we are just basically doing this. We are copying this folder. Okay. Once you come over here, you right click and select copy. There's a copy option. Okay. Or just do control C. Oh, here, copy option for me. Yes. Press, press control C. Now, again, go back to Ubuntu. Your run folder, okay, will be in your home directory. So, after I come back to Ubuntu, after copying that, I have come back to Ubuntu. Then, I go to my home folder. In that, my username, whatever is the username that you have created, in that, go to open form. In that, again, your username will be there with a hyphen name, suggesting that it is for open form 9. Then there is a run folder that we created during installation. Now copy in and copy and paste over there. Go to a run folder, right click and then paste. So we have pasted this channel 395 case. Now the second part of this is what we'll be doing is opening this channel 395 and deleting the zero folder. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, my uh, folder is empty like uh, this one. Which folder is empty? Sir, OPT. OPT folder is empty. Yes, sir. So, uh, you have not installed properly? You, uh, were you able to do yes, all sir. your... Yes, sir. Uh, uh, if, if that is the case, then I I think then you might have installed in root. Okay, You might have installed in root. Uh, do one thing. Uh, uh, write in chat. Biraj will help you. Biraj or somebody will help okay. you. You might have installed in the wrong folder. If you install as a root, then it will be in, a, in the root directory. Your installation files go into the root directory. Okay. Sir, so where, where to page uh, channel 395 file? In your run directory. So go to Ubuntu, mm. right back, then go to home. Mm. In home, your username will be there, whatever it is. Okay. okay. In that, there will be an open form folder. Again, in that, there will be a, your username. And in that, run folder will be created, RUN. This is like a, a directory where you keep all your simulation files. Okay, you don't want to, you know, uh, mess up the tutorial files. So we don't make any changes into the tutorial files of open form. We copy that file into this run directory. Mm. Okay, and you paste it over there. So now you inside can edit the, this. Inside the run. Yes, inside the run, paste it over there. Now mm. delete the zero folder. Because why we are deleting zero folder is because in this tutorial, we are only learning about meshing. We are not setting up the case. So, zero folder con uh, contains the initial and boundary conditions, which we do not need. So, we are deleting that. So, right click on zero and then delete. Okay. okay so, actually it is showing an uh, uh, un unexpected error is, keep is keeping you from deleting this folder. Are you getting that error? Yeah. An unexpected error is keeping you from deleting the folder. If you continue to receive this error, you can use the error code uh, slash slash. Okay. So it is prohibiting me Good. to delete the folder. Okay. So I think you have to delete this from uh, the terminal itself. So do one thing, launch your Ubuntu. So follow this. In the search bar, go to Ubuntu. Now, yeah. whenever you open Ubuntu, it goes to directly your home, home directory. This tilde mm -hmm. is a home directory. 
from okay. there you type this r u n mm -hmm. okay everybody please do that when we go to the run folder now if you see if i do ls why ls i am mm. what i am saying is what are the files in my run directory so there are three files so three or four files in my case so mm. we want to go into the channel 395 folder so to go into mm. the channel 395 folder i will type cd space channel i don't need to type the whole thing if i just start and then press tab it will automatically fill that so what i am doing is i am going to channel 395 Hmm. So is sir, for me also you? three channel three ninety five not showing sir. You did not paste it in run directory then. Did you paste channel three ninety five in your run directory? Without. But oh, I checked in the home also, but uh, it's not showing. Sir, okay. I couldn't see my run directory. Okay. <laughs> Now okay, Viraj, please handle these cases. I think we all. For you, then you might have not created a run directory, so so that might be the problem. With so for people who might have faced some problem in installation, you might have not ex uh, you know exactly created your run directory, mm -hmm. or you might have done your installation in some other instead of doing your installation in in OPT, you might have done your installation in the root directory. So that might be the case. So uh, please, uh, Viraj will share some. Uh, a Google Meet link. Join over there. He will handle that. So for you, because of that installation problem only, this might be the case. For the others, now you have to go to the channel three ninety five folder. Hello. Once you do mm. that, excuse me, John. Yes. Uh, I think this channel three ninety five example is not there in Open Form twenty three twelve. Can you just quickly share the folder in the chat box? I can just copy uh, uh, it and. Yeah. So. Uh, yes. Channel three ninety five is not there. Uh, we were uh, we we specifically told you to use Open Form nine. We will share that with you. That is that is not a problem. But the rest of the tutorials you will have a problem because we are created we have created everything to work with Open Form nine. As sir said, when you switch between different versions, you are going to have a problem. Yeah. So that's no why worries. we was, we have specifically said install Open Form nine. So maybe after this session, what you can do is. I, uh, install open form 9 hmm? you can have different versions of uh, open form in your system you can have uh, two three versions that is not a problem yes okay so uh, maybe uh, if uh, harish is a harish can you copy the ch uh, channel 395 and hand over uh, uh, some link for this person hmm? yes sure sir yeah, yeah. okay yeah, thank you yeah. So now, once you enter into channel three ninety five. Hello. Hmm? Yes. Sir, uh, while deleting the zero folder, uh, yes. it shows the uh, next thing or like a try again. It may be. Yes. Yes. So, so what I'm saying is, it may be a permission error that we are getting, so it is not able to delete. So we can delete it from the terminal. So, open your terminal, go to the run directory as I have done, and go to your channel three ninety five folder. by pressing the cd command okay by typing cd and the name of the file now i am in the channel 395 folder when i am doing ls you see there is a okay my zero folder got deleted good so the zero folder got deleted so it's not there now what we have to do is we have to edit this uh, mm -hmm. okay it it might have been deleted but it is not showing okay so don't worry about that just go to your system folder if the problem persists we will uh, delete it again So, in your uh, please in your face, it you will find it. Uh, it will be uh, zero. Yeah, yeah. I think so. That that might be the problem. Okay. So in the terminal, it is gone. That means it is able to delete. So just refresh it. It is gone. Hmm. It so is now, gone. Ah. Huh, so open your system folder. In that, the block mesh dict file is there that we have to edit. Hmm. So open the block mesh dict file with Notepad. If you double click, it will ask. So you open it with Notepad. So this is your block mesh dict file. Now this this is for uh, this channel three ninety five case. So we don't want all of this. So what we'll do is we'll uh, remove this command and add set of new commands for our case. That that file is already available. So you have to open your this spoken tutorial. I am on. Here is my spoken tutorials page. So on the spoken tutorials page, if you scroll down, 
the code files are available so mm-hmm. your uh, text file is there for the channel you can op- open that okay it downloads the text file once it is downloaded you can open the folder location right click it and extract it it will be downloaded in your downloads folder okay from there open this text file and copy the vertices all the way up to the merge patch pairs copy it now close this text file okay minimize this so i i am going back to my block mesh dict now in this block mesh dict these these are the old files which are there so every time we do this you know uh, what we do is we calc- uh, copy the block mesh or you know some file structure from a tutorial case so that we don't mess with the structure whatever is there and change only what we need so right now we'll leave convert to meters as one right from vertices all the way up to our merge patch pairs i will delete everything from my block mesh dict and after deleting it i'll paste the new text that i copied this text we have already written it for you so here if you see there is a bottom wall top wall back wall front wall inlet outlet everything is defined in this okay i'll just show you how to run then we can see how to change the things so once you have pasted this so i'll repeat again in a block mesh dict right from vertices all the way up to the last command you delete that and paste the text that you had copied from the file that you downloaded is anybody having problem in this Uh, hello sir uh, sir can yeah. you again just tell me how to copy this path from uh, that uh, spoken tutorial because i got missed yes okay okay huh. so you have to open your spoken tutorial website hmm yes the link that i had shared in that hmm. there is a code code file section uh, okay in if on the right side if you scroll up this is your video oh. right if okay, you okay. scroll down a huh. little bit huh. on the right side there is a code file section Okay. Okay. Hmm. When you click on this text file, hmm. it will create one. It will download it. Okay. okay then go okay. to your downloads. Huh. Open your download location. Okay. Ah, uh, and in that, extract it. And there is hmm. there will be a text file named as channel. Okay. Open that channel and copy this text. Whatever is there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Huh? And then copy the text. whole thing. Yes. Yes. The oh. whole thing. Copy the whole thing. Hmm. When you are pasting it in your block mesh, remember don't delete the convert to meters. Okay, okay. Huh? So hmm. go uh, everything below convert to meters. You delete it and then paste this new text that is there. Okay. We have to copy full up to. Then uh, we have to copy full full text. Yeah. Uh, yes, you have to copy the whole thing. Huh? And then paste whole thing. Yes. So this is your channel. This is your channel, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. That you download it from there. You copy the whole thing, the whole. Okay. It is still merge okay. patch pairs. All. Mm-hmm. Whole text. Just do Control A, Control C, then go mm-hmm. to your block mesh dict. Your channel's block mesh dict will look something like this, right? For everybody. Yes. Yeah. So with two blocks. Okay. Now you have to delete everything from vertices. From vertices mm-hmm. all the way up till down, you have to delete everything, and then. Paste the text that you copied from the channel. So your new block mesh will look like this. Okay, okay. with convert to meters, vertices. Is this done till now? Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. After you do this, then save it mm. and close this block mesh dict file. Okay. Okay. That means now you have edited your edited your files. Okay. Yes. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, while you deleting this, sir, after copying and pasting the file. Yes. Please, please. Uh, you all speak one by one. Okay. Don't two people don't yeah, speak together. I'm just asking what is the difference between that zero folder and zero dot org. I mean, those are the same. Okay. 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 Good Because question. Because a lot of times so, I see the or or file is there. So just yes. Yes. So uh, so generally, right. i have told you to delete the zero folder because this zero folder was already there and the uh, while creating yeah, they had already was... created a zero dot oric folder understand, understand. Uh, so instead of deleting the zero folder what we generally do is we rename the zero folder as zero dot oric but since zero dot oric folder is already there hmm, we had to pre- delete the previously available zero folder in that so why we need to do this is 
if i do not uh, what you can say right now we are only doing the block mesh that like we are only creating the geometry we have not yet defined what are the boundary conditions for that but to view the block mesh file we need to run the para paraform utility para view when we yes. do that and if our zero folder does not have the necessary you know boundary conditions and initial condition then it creates a conflict and paraform cannot open it because paraform oh. will search for that zero folder and try to see what are the uh, entries for that now when we are initially trying to do a simulation a first step is only creating the geometry boundary condition will come later so that time that should not interfere with the geometry creation so we rename the zero folder from 0 to 0.org so paraview does not recognize that and it will not read the zero condition it will not give us an error that is the general thought process okay. behind it okay understood so has everybody now pop, uh, copied Hello. and edited the yes sir after copying and pasting the things so uh, i will save the file or directly close it to that block no 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 you have file. you have to save it you have to save it after okay. copying pasting it you have to save it and then close it so if you see now if i open my block mesh dict again okay it should reflect the changes hmm. see it is reflecting the changes right otherwise it will use the old file only if you don't save it so you have to save it you have to save and then close the file yes uh folder 365 what is the next yes. channel 365 Yes. After copy pasting it, you have to edit the block mesh dict folder that is available in the system folder. So in your channel three sixty five, there will be a system folder. Yes, you open that system folder, open the block mesh dict, and you have to edit it. I have already edited it, and you have to paste the contents that you download from this uh, spoken tutorial website, right? In this website, in this. Sir, edit in block mesh dict. Edit in. What are you trying to say? Sir, actually, edit in block mesh dict na. Edit in block mesh dict na. What are you trying to say? I didn't understand. Sir, after uh, after copy the channel three ninety five. Yes, you But you copied you co you copy channel three three ninety five. Yes. Yes, sir. Then in you uh, you go into that channel three ninety five folder. Okay. There was some zero folder which you deleted it. Now just refresh it. It will be gone. Then go to the system folder. Sir, actually here two folders zero and zero dot org. Yes, leave that zero dot org folder as is. Don't uh, don't uh, do anything to that. Just on zero folder delete it. Zero folder delete it. Okay. Uh, then now open your system. Okay. Go to block mesh dict. Yes, sir. Open that in text editor. It will ask you to open and open it with Notepad. so when you open it in notepad then you need to copy the file that is available you need to edit this file i'm just trying to open notepad it's not opening up okay please paste your qu uh, query in the chat somebody will answer that why notepad is not opening in your in your system if notepad should open but uh, we'll have to see you'll have to share your screen and we'll have to see why it is not opening hello sir okay yes Huh. Sir, actually, I am opening in Notepad plus plus. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever text editor, you just open it. Okay, okay. Sir, what is next? Next, you have to delete the uh, inside inside this everything below convert to meters. You delete. Okay, everything below convert to meters, like from vertices onwards, you delete, and then okay. go to your uh, spoken tutorials case. Okay. Uh, Uh, scroll down copy the text file that is available in the code file section okay sir i am trying uh so once you download that copy the contents of that file and paste it in the block mesh it's simple the same thing is available in the video also you all can go ahead and watch that so once you paste it save the block mesh dict close it Okay. Now you have you have saved your block mesh. You have to save, sir. After that. Yes, you have to save. You have to save. After copying and pasting, you have to save it. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, can you uh, explain us uh, why why we are doing this or uh... why we are doing? 
मतलब वटेवर वटेवर स्टेप्स यू आर फॉलोइंग यस देयर बिकॉज़ देयर इज इंटेंशन बिहाइंड इट यस यस ओके सो वी हैव कॉपीड चैनल 395 फोल्डर कॉज दैट ब्लॉक मैश जनरली इट हैज व्हेनेवर वी कॉपी राइट वी वांट सम फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर विद अस ऑलरेडी बिकॉज व्हेनेवर वी रन अ केस इन ओपन फॉर्म we will need this folder structure like if you see zero system constant all of that folder structure we need hmm? so, so this what uh, what is folder structure uh, this this requires all the like if you open zero we, if you you've seen that something like you know setting up a test case in that also if you see any any folder will have a zero folder a constant folder and a system folder zero folder contains the files which give you the boundary conditions constant folder yeah. gives gives you the All your properties, trans- yes, transport properties, turbulence properties, and system folder has all the necessary files for your meshing, control, what are the you know, uh, solution schemes, everything that you are using, and for some you know additional functionalities, whatever you may need. So this mm-hmm. sort of a structure is needed. So we are just copying one case that is familiar or that is more similar to our case, and we are editing mm-hmm. it. What's in the zero file which we deleted? Ah, so that we deleted because right now we are not setting up a case. So if we are setting up a case, what we mm. do is if we are only doing block mesh, that is what I said. We just rename the zero folder to zero dot org mm. because if I don't do that, okay, I'll show you. If I don't do that, I I say let's where is that? I rename this, okay, and I keep it as zero only, okay. now you see i have a zero system and con- uh, zero constant and system folder i have changed the block mesh file i want to run the block mesh command but if you see i will i will have an error okay i am in my channel 365 folder already i am running the block mesh command block mesh will run as properly okay i have already meshed my you see this coming right so it has created all the patches everything and it is giving a summary how many pa- how many faces are there for inlet top bottom but if you if you remember i have not edited my zero folder i have not made any changes now if i try to view the results using paraform command it will give me some error it will show it will show error it will show an error because our boundary conditions are not available so instead of that what you do is you rename the zero folder to zero.org so that it does not read this zero folder hmm and you are only able to mesh it so once you are able to mesh it and you are able to see the mesh then you can go ahead then go to the next step of defining the boundary conditions that time you rename the zero.org folder back to zero folders put all the boundary conditions and then you can proceed with the next steps but already zero org folder already there no sir already yeah yeah ah, sir because same, same. ha ah, no this is this is already there because this case has that so if you copy some other case right uh where is my tutorial case okay they will not have that so in that case it may create a problem okay now let me go to say i am going to opt open form 9 tutorials say let's let's look at say cavity tutorial it will be in incompressible ico form cavity and cavity inside this see zero is named as zero only so if you change the block mesh dict of this okay and if you modify the block mesh dict of this file then it will give you an error because it is tries to reach the zero so that time you re- rename this folder from zero to zero.org there it was already done but one more zero folder was already there with you right that's why we told you to delete so it will be from case to case basis but generally the structure will be zero constant system mm-hmm. okay. okay now has everybody done this you edited that then go to block mesh Sir, I have not yet done. Sir, I have just joined. I was uh, struggling to the run folder. Can you please help me? Okay. So now, in that case, you mentioned in the chat, somebody from the team will help you. Okay. I want to go ahead now. Okay. Now, once we have done the mesh, what we can do is we can run the paraform command to view the to view our mesh. Okay. I am having some. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'll have to restart my system. I'm also having this problem. I think some of you are also having this problem, right? Uh, this is some yes, software sir, glitch. Yes, sir. This problem uh, is coming problem. regularly. What may be the hmm. scenario? Uh, But it's working for me, sir. Yeah, yeah. It will work from. It will work for eighty, ninety percent of the people. <laughs> Only for some of us, there is some, you know, maybe some GPU problem with this. So that's why it is conflicting. 
uh, you'll just hold on i'll just maybe quickly restart my system once okay okay hold on so after i restart my system my paraview starts to work so that glitch is gone so now if you see i am in my channel 3 so one thing people uh, so many people were struggling because some command was not working whether block mesh command is not working or you know simple form or uh, such commands are not working or even paraview for that you need to be in the correct folder right now you are in the see i am in my channel 36395 folder some of you may go to constant folder and then try to run block mesh it will not run so you have to come back to the uh, so uh, the main main folder in which your case files are there so you should be in the folder in which your zero constant system folder is there hmm? then you type the so now my block mesh is done i'll again do the block mesh command so i'm running block mesh again see it is done after that i'll run the command para home p a r a f capital o a m now if i click apply over here the green button i can see my mesh now to see the internal structures i have to change from here from surface to surface with edges change it to surface with edges and these are my cells so i can i can rotate this so in my z direction i've given only one cells in x and y these many cells are there so this this is something that you should see so if this is coming that means your block mesh is working and you are able to do it now for those who have done this the next thing that you quickly can do is open your so again i uh, i will show you how to do it over here so you have to go to g edit ask one minute i want to ask that uh, that's the error in paraview every time whatever the scenario will happen you have to restart the computer or any other yeah we have we it? have we have found that restarting works but we have not been able to find a solution to that uh, why it is happening it is happening with selected people only for me in my other system it was not happening this is a new system that i am using today in this it is happening so uh, okay, i have found that restarting it kind of you know uh, bring the system back and then i don't face any problem such a thing okay thank you uh, so uh, so my now one thing is either i can go to that folder directly and edit it or i can use the command so I'll, i will also demonstrate you how to do it from the command line so now i will i can open it either with gedit or with notepad.exe so i am typing gedit so it will open the block magic file with the gedit text editor so gedit is my text editor and my file is in system folder so i will type system and inside system so forward slash and my file name is block mesh dict so here every time when you are changing from one word to the other the second uh, the cap uh, the first letter of the next word is in cap capital so if you see block b is small but m is capital and d is capital so remember that once i do that my g edit will open so this is what i get right so here what you can do is i'll try to uh, so here what you can do is try changing the number of cells from 40 cells to maybe 20 cells okay and then see how your geometry changes so you understand what is your x direction what is your y direction okay and more about this is also available in the additional reading material for you to see after you change save it close it run block mesh dict again uh, to run block mesh uh, uh, i i'm sorry you you don't run block mesh dict you run the block mesh command so run block mesh and then again para form so what you can do is to see the commands that you have already previously used you can use the up and down arrow key of your keyboard so it takes you to the previous command so you don't have to type those commands again and again mm. okay so now i am uh, using the para key i am going to para form so i have changed the cells in my x direction to 20 so if you see the cells in my x direction i have reduced so all these things you can you can try to understand with this okay. yes hello sir so, yes uh, sir can you go slow uh, because i am a I'm a beginner. Uh, first time I am using Open Form, so yeah, you are yeah. typing so fast. It's okay, difficult to catch up. Where are you now? Where are you? Uh, so, uh, Paraview is now closed, and uh, uh, I am facing a uh, get it uh, block date. Okay. Okay. Ha. Huh. So, so you you are done. So you type this command, right? G A D. Yeah. 
space so uh, earlier get it is creating problem for me so somebody ah, says okay me. okay so uh, if that is a problem yeah for some people what happens is this uh, get it or get it whatever you call it is not uh, working properly so instead of that you can type notepad dot exe so it will open mm-hmm. this file in notepad so that is a choice of an editor it is like opening it with word notepad whatever so it will just open so don't that is not a no big thing so when you do this it will open it in notepad so see now it opened it in notepad so once it opens in this blocks there will be a blocks command where hex hex here you are specifying the block order 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 in this case and here first uh, first term is the number of cells in the x direction that initially was i think 25 or something i changed it to 20 you can change it to whatever okay try maybe making it say 100 now Okay. And y direction it is twenty five. So what will happen after after okay. every time you make a change, save it. Okay, Control S or file and save. It. And then close this. So and that sir, change uh, here is hex h e x hex hex means hexagonal yeah. shape. No, not hexagonal. Yeah, it is a hexahedral shape. Hexahedral shape. Yes, not hexagonal. Hexahedral. So it's a three D geometry. Side. Yes, it is a three D geometry. So if you see. I have done mm-hmm. that, right? I will go mm-hmm. to. Uh, I have to run the block mesh command first. Then, so okay, to run the block mesh command, you type block mesh, or you just use the up arrow key because you have already done the block mesh command. So mm-hmm. do that. After that, press the up arrow key again. Go to and type the paraform command. So you will be able to see the geometry. Click apply. Geometry is visible, but you are seeing only surfaces. So to see the surface with edge in the top panel over here, there is a command. Oh, so there is a drop-down menu from where you select surface and surface with edges. So here you see now in x direction our number of cells has increased. So if I just uh, click and rotate it, it is a 3D geometry. But our number of cells in the z direction is only one. Our number of cells in the x direction are 100. Y direction I think it is 20. Hello, yes. Sir, after editing in uh, Notepad plus plus, what will be the next? Actually, I am facing error in paraview. What is the error? Sir, could not find valid open form mesh. Okay, so after that you have to like blue blue. Run, no, no. After you edit and save, then you have to run the command block mesh. Yes, sir. Uh, uh-huh. So if you don't mesh, then open form will not uh, this uh, paraview will not be able to read the mesh. No? You might have yes, forgotten sir. the command block mesh. Yes, sir. Actually, I uh, paraview open, but uh, blue line is showing here. Blue line. I think wait. Uh, you just uh, uh, join a link where somebody will guide you. Okay? okay. For that, we will have to see what is happening on your screen. Now, after this, I think uh, you know basically what you need to do, what you need to edit, and where are the files that you understood. Now, go to the second tutorial. The link to the second tutorial, I will, uh, I will share. Hmm. So Sir, there is a constant uh, output me- message is there uh, a small window output mes- message. Ah, huh, no, just close that. Close that window. No, it it is not closing up. I am I am clicking on the cro- cross, but it is not closing up. Okay, so you I'm join re- the link. Ah, uh, so you join the link uh, that uh, Viraj might have shared. Okay, share your screen. He will be able to guide you over there. Okay. Now I am hoping that at least this uh, uh, everybody might have been able to do. So next, what we need to do is go to the second tutorial. Okay, so before you proceed towards uh, the next tutorial. Okay. So I am going to spoken tutorial page, and I am uh, going to the open form. Open form V seven. So we have done uh, tutorial for creating a two D geometry. Now we are directly going to tutorial eleven uh, grid resolution and conversion. So this is something that you all can try now. Hmm. This is similar. Only over here we have to keep changing the size and looking at the output. So I will copy this case, and I'll, I'm pasting it in the chat. Wait, wait, wait. So this is the new tutorial that everybody has to do. Okay, follow this. This for this you will have to run the case two three times. 
you can so watch the video and share the youtube link of this video yes yes i'll also share the youtube link so i've shared oh, this thank you. I should okay, I also share the YouTube link for the next tutorial. <laughs> In that we will be doing the grid resolution work. So you all can go ahead and do that. It is pretty straightforward. You have to do the editing also. But in this case, after after meshing, you also have to run the simulation, which you have already done. Same. If anybody has a problem, you let me know. I will show. I will demonstrate it over here again if needed. Hello. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so I am. I am not able to visualize this, uh, this para view command. So after block max, uh, I am not able to find this para view. You also have to. UI is not coming for me. Okay. Uh, do one thing. Uh, uh, there will be a link over there, right? Where people are helping. Just okay. post over there. Somebody will guide you. So you can share your screen over there. Okay. okay. And we can look at it. Okay. Sure. Okay. I think uh, he can type uh, paraform, not para view in the comments. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I think the command is paraform only. Is he trying para view? No, paraform command opens para view. I have demonstrated paraform only. I don't know what is he trying. So that's he what we have to see his screen. Yes. Uh, so see, uh, there is a link, right, which Raghavendra has shared. You all join that meeting link. Yeah. Those who have those who have such problems, right? If uh, block mesh is not working or some para view is not working, just join that link. Yes, yeah, somebody is saying something. That actually in the in my Ubuntu when I am uh, typing paraform, it's yes. showing an error uh, because I have installed the para view in the Windows Windows and. Okay, okay, okay. So in that case, because you have installed para view in Windows, so you don't you don't open from there. You type uh, touch t o u c h touch. I, I'll type. I'll type in the chat. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to type touch t o u c h touch and then some uh, file name. Say like say result result dot form. And when you uh, here touch result dot form. So when you do this, a, a result dot form file will be created in your uh, run directory. Please, uh, okay. Do it from the first. Okay. Huh. And uh, then you need to open open that. Open that with your para view. So to open your location, right, wherever you are in the terminal, from your terminal, in your terminal, like say I, I'll demonstrate, right? If I'm in my terminal right now, okay, I will type T O U C H touch space, say file name, I'm calling it as result dot form. And if I enter it, a result dot form file will be created. If I want to view it, I'll type explorer. Excuse me, sir, John, sir, uh, sir yes. uh, your screen is not visible. Uh, so uh, you see the first command that I type result dot form. I I see if I can yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sharing the screen. I think please so please please rejoin. Yeah. I think that may be a issue. Just one minute. I'm trying to see if I can increase the font size. Yeah, Deepak, yeah. Just do what I say, okay. Okay. Yes, terminal. Everything do it in the terminal. Are you able to? What problem? I'll but figure this out. Just give me some time. But the uh, till then, are you able to uh, see this? Right? Yes. Yeah. So you have to type touch then file name dot form and press enter. Whatever is the file name, then. You want to open that location in your file explorer. So you type okay, okay. EXPLO RER explorer dot exe and then space and then dot. Okay. So what it does is it opens the file explorer in the current directory that is channel 395. So when I do that, okay, you see this my file explorer is open and I am seeing this file structure directly. I am uh, my channel 395 folder is open and you see this result dot form file is there. So this you have to open with Paraview you have which you have installed in Windows. Okay. 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 The same thing. Okay. So for me, I don't have it natively installed on my Windows, so I will not be able to show you. For you, you have to click, right click, and then open with, and then search for Paraview, and then do that. Or you can open Paraview and then load this file into Paraview. 
the thing is once you once you allot this file to paraview you know like open with always then every time you don't have to do the paraview symbol will come and you can just double click and it will open in paraview so this is for people who have uh, installed paraview natively in windows because somewhere they were having a conflict with uh, with ubuntu so you can do this yes so you all can go ahead and do the second tutorial excuse me uh, you have yes. only one windows in the system that only the ubuntu na no? yes hmm. uh well, we are we are facing that difficulty because we are changing to windows to ubuntu no no see i am also having ubuntu right see if you see i am also having ubuntu that's why i'm demonstrating to you on this system i i normally don't work on this system i have a system which is purely linux but because i wanted to have the same problem which you have so i'm sure i'm i have taken this system in which ubuntu is there okay so for me if i if i have to do anything i am doing it in this ubuntu and this is my native windows right mm. this is everyday windows okay so, okay see if you have enough uh, if you have enough capabilities in your system if you have enough size you can do a dual boot you can install windows and ubuntu side by side you can go and work completely in ubuntu and then reboot and work completely in windows that is also possible that is what we do on our uh, pcs over here because they have good size ah, yes that, yes yes that pc is very fast for the ubuntu system yes, yes. Uh, so then we are we are working on that now uh, please go ahead and do the second tutorial where you have to do grid resolution and convergence so in that what you need to try is as sir mentioned we are we will be progressively making the mesh coarser or finer and we'll monitor what is the effect on the parameter say pressure in this case so when we go from a mesh which is having a size of say 20 by 20 240 by 40 280 by 80 how does my result change and at what and at what grid size my result starts to become independent of grid size that is the aim of this uh, tutorial so you can follow this tutorial hmm, step by step if you have any problem in that please let us know we will help you so it is the same lid driven cavity case uh, that we that we are uh, uh, that you all have already run in the morning right same thing but in that now we will be doing a grid uh, independent study or grid resolution study hello sir in morning i was not able to run the lid driven cavity so after okay. block mesh which command i will use for run the simulation ha ah, in in lid driven cavity your command will be i think icofoam uh, just let me confirm once icofoam yes just just give me yes sir icofoam was there so yes sir so it is in icofoam so icofoam will be the command yes. okay. yes, so, so directly driven... after block mesh i uh, yes run after block icofoam. mesh Yes, so then it will solve, and after that you have to open Paraform. There any edit, sir, in directory, not yes. directory? Uh, in in cavity, you are saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, so uh, I think it is too loud. So what uh, what you can do is you you have already copied the cavity, right? Yes, sir. I already copied. Ah, huh. so in that you run it once. i uh, okay in, in this system i don't have it so then you don't need to edit the block mesh deck hmm? you 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 run it once then follow okay. the tutorial save the value of p for one yeah. uh, one grid size change the grid size then uh, then observe the value of p see how it is changing so you change the grid size two three times to see how your p pressure value at the cent uh, center of the cavity changes with the different grid size that is your aim so i'll be i'll be doing it i think your people are getting confused so what i'll do is i'll do it myself so i already have so in my run folder i don't have the cavity so i have to copy cavity so what i can do is i can go here i can type tut it takes me to tutorial then this i'll go to open to civil echo form cavity so this is my cavity folder i'm copying cavity which you all have already done you don't need to do this to your home directory which is here so i'm copying the cavity case now if i have to run cavity i'll just open it 
uh, I need to open it in this. So I am in my, I first go to run directory by typing a run, go to CD cavity. So now I am in the cavity folder. Now I can run block mesh. So just to demonstrate, if I'm not in the cavity folder and if I'm in some other folder, say like, uh, let's say I go to the CD system. Now I cannot run block mesh. If I run block mesh, it will give me an error because I cannot run block mesh from system folder. I need to be in the main folder that is a cav uh, cavity folder. So I'll go out by pressing CD dot dot. So I've come down, I've come to the cavity folder. Now I can run the block mesh command. So this is what problem some of you are facing. So when I run block mesh, my block mesh is running. Then after that, I have to run the command I go home. So very quickly it solved the case. Then I need to do paraform to view the results. So once I do this, I click on apply. This is something. Then here I'll go to sorry here VTK block. I'll say let's let's look at the simulation. I'll select U. Okay. I go to the last. I can click click play or go to the last one. So I'm at the last time step. Here, what we need to do is we need to note down the value of pressure and velocity at the center of the cavity. So here there is a something called as a probe, which is next to this ruler. When we click on that, it will automatically take a point at the center. I'll just click apply, won't do anything. And in this uh, spreadsheet view that comes on the side, it is saying the center location, uh, what is my X, Y, Z coordinate for that center point and what is the U velocity and pressure over there. So I will just copy the pressure value or if I, I will just note it down in my book. Say I'm noting it down. You can copy it onto an Excel so that you can plot it also. Or what I can do is I can click file save data. So you see one grid one from CSV file named grid one has come in which I have my pressure, velocity and all those points. So similarly, I'll just, I shouldn't have saved it here. I should have saved it in my home directory. Outside over here. Say this is for grid one. Then uh, important thing to note here is, I think this, uh, please pay attention over here once. Once you have done that, you have copied the data. In your terminal, you need to uh, clean the case before running the simulation again because you have old data. You can do that by typing the command, uh, you know, uh, foam list times rm, hmm? or you can do foam clean case. Both of them work. So I am I am doing I am showing to you both. So foam list. So what this command does? So I'll show you. So if in my system over here. In my cavity folder, all these case file results are there, 0 0.1. So what does this mean? That means it uh, 0 is my initial condition. Then it is saving data after 0 0.1 seconds, after 0 0.2 seconds. So whatever is the simulation data. Now, before running the simulation again in this, if I want to clear this, I'll just type home list times space dash rm. When I do this, you see all of this gets deleted. Uh, in Windows, I need to refresh it once. Um, so see, all the other files are gone. Now I can rerun the simulation. But before rerunning the simulation, we need to increase the size of the uh, domain. So it is 2020.0. Now I will change it. Now let me see what they have taken over there. So I will take similar. So instead of 2020, we are going to take 40 cells. 40 cells in X. 40 cells in Y. So change the X and Y to 40 and 40. Save this file. All these steps are available over there. So if you have any problem, you can ask me. Or you can see the video as well. But 
only by changing the block mesh rig it will not work because once you have uh, made your mesh finer we have to change the time step as well because we have to satisfy the cfl criteria current uh, or current number criteria so more information about that is available in the uh, i will show you that in our spoken tutorial over here for the last tutorial grid resolution and conversion there is something called as additional reading material okay i was too fast i think i'll do that again so in that when you scroll down to the in your spoken tutorial if you scroll down there is something called as slides script you know uh, if some material is there case files will also be here and there is something called as additional reading material when you click on that one pdf will open up it will talk about what is current number how is it defined you know why why current number should always be less than 1 and in the grid independent study what results are we getting so everything is given over here you can go over it once to understand this in more detail it is available on our website so as you can see if i am increasing my number of mesh my number of uh, delta x is decreasing hmm? so to keep if my delta x is decreasing my current number will increase so to keep my current number in check i have to decrease the time step as well that is dt for a given velocity and that we do in the control dict file so we open the control dict file over here in notepad and here we change what is called as a time step that is delta t time step now for this case let me just see what is the time step that is needed here the time step that is needed is 0.0025 okay otherwise i i can show you also what happens if you don't change this let me just show you what happens if you don't change this suppose if you forget to change this and uh, just run so i am i am back to my terminal i am running block mesh command because i need to mesh first right because i deleted everything even my mesh is gone i'll mesh it again block mesh now i will uh, run the uh, simulation by ico form oh so now this i think i changed and i saved it uh, if you see my maximum current number is exceeding it is 1.85 so which is not good here okay if you see over here my current number mean is there but my maximum current number is in, has exceeded it and it has become more than 1 which is not good your maximum current number should always be less than 1 so this simulation is not that accurate i will open my control dict i will change the time step to 0.0025 and i'll save it once i do that now i need to delete this so i will do foam list times rm i have saved that command i just press the up arrow key deleting those case files running block mesh again block mesh then ico foam so you see now my current number is less than 1 it is 0.9 which is which is good so this is correct now again i will go to i will go and do para foam view the results will be say velocity go to my last time step then select the probe locator which is here the same thing so i am doing it little faster apply here you see a new value has come for pu so this if i want to save again i will go to file save data okay now previously i had saved in cavity i'll go up i will save here so first grid was g1 now this grid is g2 so i have saved two grids i'm saving it i'll come over here in the block mesh i think i need to do it one more time for 80 by 80 okay let's check that yes for 80 by 80 also i will have to run I didn't mean block. 
make this 80 by 80. That means we are successfully doubling the, successively doubling the mesh size to see how our mesh changes. Now, after doing this, I need to decrease my delta t. What is my new delta t? Mm -hmm. But I need to also change. Okay, let me just first run it and see how much the home list times clear it and block mesh and then run echo home. Hmm. So you see current number is exceeding. That means I need to decrease my delta t again. So I go to control dict. So this delta t which we had reduced for 40 by 40 is still not sufficient if I increase my mesh. So I need to change this. I am I am making it 1e minus 4 now. That is 0 0.001. Saving it. And I will rerun the simulation. But first I need to clear it by foam list times. Then run block mesh. Then next step is ICO foam. I think I added one more additional zero, which is too too much. So it will take some time to run, but it's fine. Okay. I should have made it triple zero one. Instead of that, I've made it uh, sorry, double zero one. So now I'll run para foam. Again, I will see how my velocity looks. So not much changes there, but I want to look at the so here you see, if I do surface with edges, we have a very, very fine mesh. Now I'll go to the probe locator, click apply, and it is showing what are the values. I'll again click file, save data. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, sir, can you show this uh, file saving step and uh, this uh, center point uh, pressure measurement once again? Yeah, I one minute, one minute. I cannot hear, hear you clearly. Just, just uh, let me see if my okay, yeah, all okay, done. Yeah, uh, what was your question? Sorry, yes, after yes, no, opening clear. para para form, uh, yes. there is a one step you uh, you did for the uh, like a uh, to uh, con for the contour formation, like it is a smooth contour, and to mm. save the pressure value at the center location. Uh, that step, can you uh, tell the again? Okay, okay, I'll show it to you again. So, this is our paraview file, right? Maybe I'll open it again so that I'll close it. I'm opening my uh, again by typing the command paraform. Once it opens. I'll just bring it down. So I first need to click apply. Okay. Then I need to say just for me to see the mesh, I can see it with surface with edges. So if you see, it is a very fine mesh now. And if I want to view the velocity over here, VTK block colors is there. Instead of that, I will select velocity U. And then if I click play, it shows how the velocity is evolving. Okay. But I'll pause it now, go to the last time step because I have my delta T was very small. Now, after this is what you want to do, correct? Okay, yeah. So, uh, this is uh, I am getting similar. Yes. So, next, now what you need to do is click over here, probe locator. This is on the, uh, just below that surface to edges uh, uh, option is there. Just below that, if you hover over it, it will, it will, uh, it will show you the name, right? It should show the name. It is called as probe locator. See probe location. So when you click on that, it it automatically by default takes the point at the center of the domain. Okay. So now when I click apply, what it will do is at the center of the domain, it will tell me what is the velocity, what is the pressure, and what is the coordinates of that point. This is something that I had saved by once I get this, I can either note it down. Or if I want to extract it and create a plot or something, then I need this data in the form of CSV. So that also I can save by going to File, Save Data. Now this window, I'll bring it over here. So in this Save Data option, it is asking me where to save. So I'm not saving in the case file directory because if I do home clean case, there are chances it can get cleaned. So I'm going out, I'm saving it over here by some file name. I've called it G1, G2, G3 for grade one, grade two, grade three. 
whatever file name you want to give you give that and at from the drop down you have to select csv so there are two three things right there is csv tsv.txt so you have to select that value comma separated value and then click okay once you do that that file will be done so that's it that is what you need to do now is that clear so now for me okay. i'll just create yes, one okay i'll just create one new excel file in that i can copy the results for this three cases so we'll be able to look at them together so see i have grid 1 okay so now this is my grid 1 i'll just i'll just copy my grid 1 that is this this was 20 by 20 correct so i have size 20 okay 20 20 by 20 40 by 40 and 80 by 80 for 20 by 20 this was g1 correct so i'm copying the pressure over there I'm pasting it. So this is my pressure, and this is my grid size, or cell size, I should say. What number of cells in X? I'll say in X number of cells in X. Of course, Y is same. Now I close G one. I don't want that. I'll go to grid two. Now I'll copy the pressure value of grid two. It is. I want to know if I make the grid finer, then what happens? And I want to know if I make the grid even finer, then what happens? It is done. So now I have this. the thing is i can plot this by just plotting it so you see if i increase my uh, grid from 20 by 20 to 40 by 40 there is a sharp decrease in the pressure that means the uh, 20 by 20 is not a good enough grid from 40 by 40 to 80 by 80 there is a slight decrease now we can try one more with 160 by 160 cells quickly it doesn't take much time so i'm going here going to my cavity cavity right for that i will have to close my para view first yeah sometimes we are uh, changing the time step size also no? uh, yes can... so we, we have to change the time step size for that i have uh, mentioned right there is a document for our there is a document on our website right in the additional reading material it is talking about the courant number right so in a transient simulation we cannot have a very large time step the time step controls how uh, how fast your information or how further your information is traveling right so that is that is very important so depending upon your grid size hmm, your velocity and delta t how much your information is traveling from one cell to the other you don't want your information to travel more than one cell that's why your current number should always be less than 1 that is the ideal case so all additional reading material on current number everything is available over here you can go over it so if you reduce your mesh size you have to uh, you know along with that decrease your uh, time step as well so to uh, keep your well, current number in check yeah is there an, is there is a, a, any mandate such that uh, that the mesh size should be keep constant in order to select the time step size no 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 we are we are see what we are trying to do okay we are trying to just let me means i am asking about the time step independence test sir okay no first first to get, to get the time step independence test first you need to do a grid independence test right yeah yeah ha huh. ha huh. so before doing a grid independence test if you try to do both of them together then it will not work so you first uh, do a grid independence test make your solution independent of the grid grid then in that you can change the time step a little bit and see if your solution is changing with time step okay we are changing time step in order to keep the grid within current number right cfr yes number. only only within the current number no yeah, in the we are not we are not checking the time step size here no 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 we are we are doing yeah. this yes 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, sir. Actually, sir, yeah. I wanted to know that uh, how you are saving that image of that velocity contour in the display in the parallel. Image? You want to save image? Yes, okay. Image or data? Sir, image. That uh, that. Okay. Okay, so just uh, just wait. Hold on. I will uh, make the changes and I will show you demonstrate over here. So I what I need to do? I need to edit my block mesh now. Make it it uh, come eighty one sixty by one sixty. I'm saving it. I think my time step is pretty small, so I don't need to change that. I will do block mesh. I go foam. Oh, I think my time step is very small. So just let it run for a couple of minutes, maybe. Just let me see what is my current number. Just point one. I should. I could have increased. Okay. So now here, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to find the point where my uh, my result becomes independent of my mesh size. So I will just table this. This is my pressure. This is my number of cells in x direction. After this, we'll do one more case with one sixty by one sixty. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Sir, can I use a spoken tutorial? Can you use the spoken tutorial? Yes. Yes, you can use the spoken. I have shared the spoken tutorial with you initially, right? There is a spoken tutorial, and there is. Uh, if that is not working, then the YouTube video is also there. No, no, sir. I just like uh, in the spoken tutorial, there is so many videos and all. Huh. But I'm just try to open the spoken tutorial uh, Google from Google huh. and just uh, asking you for ID password. ID password. Okay, yes. wait. Just hold on. Uh, just hold on. I will answer your question. So see here. If you go, how are you searching? I don't know because you just type over oh, uh, spoken tutorial. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, then this spoken tutorial dot org is there. Open that. In that, it will open this file. You have to search in in all courses. You have to search for. Sir, but open poem. Uh, yeah, am... open poem version seven, and then just search, and then this comes. This is free of cost. Hello. I'm just open it. Is um, okay, okay, sir. So open. It. Your your okay, voice sir. is breaking. Ah, uh, so here then you can watch. You can watch all of these. You can practice along, and it is also freely available on YouTube. The same thing. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, yeah, we come. So now this. Uh, after this, I'll run Faraform to answer the question of. Okay. Now I've clicked apply. My U profile. I'll just take the last profile because I don't want to waste time. Now, if you want to save this. Again, now you have to be in this uh, what you can say this view, and then click File, either Save Screenshot, hmm? yeah, here yeah, Save Screenshot. Again, maybe give you a file name. I'll go and save it outside over here. Maybe Velocity and PNG. So my uh, formats are PNG, JPG, TIFF, whatever it is. Save, and then OK. And then if you see in this. Uh, Outside this cavity folder, in the run folder is where I saved it. This velocity gets saved. So I see this velocity profile with my U scale. So it it got saved in the resolution in which I was viewing. You can play around with that and see how that changes. But this is how you save it. Now what we mainly we wanted to do is look at the pressure. So I'm cl clicking on the probe locator. Yeah. Clicking Hello. on apply. Yes. 
sir do we need to submit this png file to you no 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 you don't need to submit anything that is because just somebody was asking right okay uh, how to save png file that's what so so there is no assignment uh, uh, part in this workshop no no there is no assignment mm-hmm. the uh, you have to you know it is self driven so you know you can try changing this values you know after this so that you get more familiar because tomorrow when you come you should have little bit familiarity of this so that you can pick up so maybe after this session you can you know try uh, try doing running the same commands again so that you become little bit more familiar with what is the structure as sir said right and somebody also said initial learning curve of open form is very steep so it takes uh, you know uh, the uh, the learning is very slow initially and then suddenly you pick up because the difficulty of getting used to the command line getting used to the terminal that is and you know what is the structure that takes a little bit time so you all need to practice this uh, so what i was saying yes sir, now into every the control dict file again we have to do the block mesh yes uh, what did you just say sir actually after uh, doing the meshing uh, because of the current number value is very high again we will change mm-hmm. the control dict file right time step size yes you change the con- uh, control dict yes changing the time step size again mm-hmm. we have to do the block mesh or uh, directly no, you, we can go for uh, ico form sir no no uh, best thing is to clean the case again by doing that form uh, form list times dot rm you clean the case again so that if any some old files are there they will not create any problem okay so you after running see i'll show you uh, okay just just hold on just hold on i'll show you the steps just let me save this so file okay, i am saving okay. this data just hold on i will i will demonstrate that again i will save this data and this will be grid 4 mm, csv Okay, I have saved it. Now, see, once once you uh, come out, what happens is in your cavity, all these files get saved, right? Your current number was high, but still it ran and it gave you all these files. If you don't clean this, then your next simulation files will be overwritten and it can create problem. Some time shifts are not matching, so it's always better to clear that. So after that, the command is form list times dash rm. So when you do that, when you run that command. what happens is see all this file which are there on my left hand side and now they are still there because in windows i need to refresh it so if i just refresh it all of them are gone so it it has come back to its initial state so it only removes the solution files and not your what you can say setup so whatever you change like zero uh, a boundary condition all of those things are not touched only your simulation files are removed and your even if you go i think uh, your uh, polymesh Okay, poly mesh is there, so I think you need to uh, yeah mesh again. It's better to mesh again. I think foam clean case yeah. cleans everything. Yes, foam clean case command is better than foam list times. Foam clean case will clean even the mesh. So, but still after this you run the block mesh. After you do foam list times, you run block mesh. Okay. Then you run the simulation by typing ico foam. Okay. Yeah. Again, after it. changing the time step, again we have to do the uh, block mesher. Yeah. Again, you clean clean it, mm. and then first clean the case, then run block oh, okay. mesh. Okay. So let's follow this same procedure. Okay. Okay. Now let's yeah, let's okay. go look. Yeah, sir. Can we get a document in which uh, the meaning of the uh, each and every uh, c- command line is mentioned? Okay. Ah, uh, so that is also there on our. Uh, Posse website. Yeah, let's let me see where it is. Uh, for somewhere in some tutorial, right? I think it is maybe setting up a test case or something. Uh, the prerequisite. Some additional study. In every case, there is an additional reading material. Okay? Or. Who? Where, where is that uh, commands for uh, Linux commands? We have a list of Linux commands, right? 
Okay, so we will share it to you, but it is there on this website only in some of the things additional reading material here. Okay. Okay, so just like we have now Python documentation. Yes, yes. Uh, so that uh, we have uh, we have one sheet. I will share it with you. It will be in one of these. Okay. So uh, like the commands, like you know, whatever you are typing ls mm. or uh, 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 what does ls mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. All of that is available. Uh, Okay, so it has been added in your chat. Just check once. See the CFD, uh, CFD direct. Yeah, so this uh, this is a general command. We also have one over here. Maybe we are not able to uh, uh, find that. But uh, if you can copy this, it will give you all the basic Linux commands. Okay. Okay. It's taking some time to load. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, what does this mean? You know, there are uh, we have showed you some, right? Like C, mm -hmm. ls. Uh, what does that mean? Then, say, there are some other files like cp minus r, mv, rm. Mm -hmm. So, what does all of them mean? So, there is there is a huge list of commands that you can see. So it's one page. It is available on CFD Direct. So that link is there, which Biraj has shared. You all can go through it so that you understand what is happening. So it will be better that you all, you know, just go through this command once. So tomorrow you are much more familiar with what is happening. Okay, now uh, to go back to what I was doing, I'm just copying this data. Making it over here. This is for 160. And I will just... Okay, so if you see this graph, right? This graph clearly explains that if we move from 20 by 20 cells to 40 by 40 cells, there is a huge change in the pressure at the center. From 40 by 40 to 80 by 80, again, there is some change. But from 80 by 80 to 160, there is no change. So you can go for a cell size of 80 by 80. We can also calculate the percentage change. Why do we check pressure at the center of the uh, geometry? See, yeah. Uh, Right now, we are showing you how to check the pressure at the center, but in the later on uh, sessions, maybe I think day two or day three, we okay. will teach you how to calculate a volume average uh, value that will be much more accurate. Right now, because you are very new, your first day itself, we will bombard you with so much, it becomes difficult. So there is there is an option also to calculate uh, volume, uh, volume, volume average quantities. And that is a much better, much better way than doing a point average. Okay. I hope. So between these values, from first value to second value, the percentage change is around 30%. Between second to third, the percentage change between them, between each, is 12%. And then between the third and the fourth is 3%. So this is between these two points. But here, if we can see, that means the result that we are getting with 80 by 80 cells is not significantly different than by 160 by 160 cells. So you can go for 80 by 80 cells without loss of much accuracy. But with improved, uh, what you can say, but with a higher, but with a lower computational requirement. So this is something that you should do at the start you know, to identify what is your uh, grid size that works for you. So this was the tutorial to do that. I hope uh, you all have uh, under, uh, understood this. And if you have any queries now, you can write to us on uh, contact cfd We will add that email in, in the chat. And plus, please go through the uh, material that we have given to you, like the what Viraj just shared, you know, for the Linux command, so that tomorrow it becomes much easier for you. So I'll just stop sharing now. So you can also send your queries to our uh, email ID. I'm typing it once again. For those who, ha who have any query regarding today's sessions, please uh, type your query here. Okay, so for today, uh, I think it's time to wind up. Right, John, Viraj, can we wind up today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so bye-bye for today. Thanks once again for joining.